Hey everybody, <laughs> it is Thursday afternoon. We just got done garage selling a couple hours ago and we and have to go pick up some stuff in another hour and a half. And we're going to pick up an uh, old geocacher that we know it was cleaning out her mother's apartment, her I house. 10 boxes for 10 us. 10 boxes. We have no idea what's in them, but she said if you guys want them, I would love to just give them to you. So we're just going to go pick them up. So, yes. uh, so we had to empty the van anyway. So we went garage selling and we spent a total of Three $388.75. $388. So quite a bit today. We got a table full. And Steve got two things. I bought, I bought literally like five things. This is Donna. <laughs> this was Donna's day. Steve struggled a lot, but it's but all good. he drove me around like driving Miss Daisy, so. <laughs> yes, I was her I was her driver. So we're gonna show you the things. We're gonna try to pop up some comps on these. Um, I Honestly, I don't know a lot of what she bought, so. Yeah, so this will be revealing. It's going to be fun for all of us. For everybody. <laughs> all right, let's go. Hey, everybody. This is future Steve. <gasps> Hi. And future Donna. Yes. We're Friday's version on uh, Thursday's video. After garage selling and being hot and working in the garage. Yes. Uh, we just wanted to jump in. We have a very, very, very important announcement. Yes. This Sunday, May 19th. Day after tomorrow. If you do not follow Grams and Pops Vintage, you, you should to. follow Grams and Pops Vintage. Uh, they are doing a live show at 5 o'clock Central Standard Time. And we're going to be on it. And we're going to be on it along with a couple other guests. And we are going to be on there for a little while talking about yes. some things. So Grams and Pops Vintage. I'll put a link in the description. And there's an announcement coming. Check it out. So if you're not subscribed, uh, at least go check them out. Give them a follow, subscribe to them. And this Sunday again, five o'clock Central Standard Time, Grams and Pop, Pop, Grams, Grams and, and Pops, Pops Vintage, Vintage. <laughs> live. Yes. And we will be we'll on see you there. to bring down the quality of their video. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> One more thing before we get back to the regularly scheduled programming. I am shipping. We are not filming this shipping, but we have one new state to fill in. So, Donna, what'd you sell? A bag of over 100 pieces of Shopkins for $20. $20. $20. Got this for three at a garage sale. But the reason we're showing this now is because it's going to a new state. Donna? Um, Hawaii? Hawaii it is. Yes. Okay, so, Donna, this is Hawaii. This, 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 this. <laughs> Shut up. Not this. Shut up. That's the ocean. <laughs> be nice. Be nice. You guys make him be nice to me. Oh, my, I don't have my glasses on. I can't see these oh, little ones. Oh, she's going to be outside the lines. I am because I don't have my glasses on. There it is. Whoa. There's Hawaii. That's our updated map. Yeah. As of May 17th, 2024. Yay. First of all, first pickup of the day. Follow me over here. Okay. All this beautiful yarn. Beautiful yarn. <laughs> well, and this hook. Because I just taught Jada, the baby, how to crochet. And so she's using this big chunky thread. So I got this for her. Cool. And then I found all of this fabric. All of this fabric for 20 bucks. 20 bucks for that. All right. For all of that. So this is not so much of a bang, but I have one listed. Got that for 25 cents. It's a purse. Always like a good 25 cent buy. Sack Roots purse for two bucks. Good condition. Now I don't know the comps for these. Okay, and here's a little coach bag. Got it for a dollar. Here is another coach bag. And this one was two, I believe. A little dingy, a little dirty, or, but yeah, we can try to clean it up. And then we got this Vera Bradley coin purse. <gasps> There's money in there. How much you got? What was that? 16, 16 cents. cents. Woo! -hoo! So we got that for 50 cents. So you got it for 34 cents. Yeah. Nice. And then we found some coach purses. So we got these coach purses for. This one was five. We looked them over the best we could, like with what we've learned on YouTube about patterns and stitching and everything else. And we think they're all authentic, so. So there's one. The lady had a bunch of purses, like it was an older lady and she was in a rich neighborhood and she was like, I'm just trying to get rid of a lot of my purses. This one, and it has all the, the handles, so that's good. This one was 10. Yep. 
this one is a hobo if you've seen that hobo brand purse yep. hobo 750 and it's leather we've never he heard of hobo purses but we did look it up and i think it sells really good so okay and this is another coach I think this one is an older one. The style just looks to be a little older. Okay. Um, that one was five, I believe. This is looks to me like it's a newer one, newer style, but this is a coach. Okay. And this one I believe was 10. This is a Dooney and Burke. Got this at a different sale than the last one. The rest of those coaches and all those purses and stuff, we paid $50 at that sale. Mm -hmm. This was a different sale, Dooney and Burke. We looked over all the stitching and everything, and best we can tell, it looks like it's authentic. So this was 10 And this one is a Rachel Nash. Rachel Nash. And it's like heavy, nice, thick leather. We it's, paid this 10 one. for this one, but I love this one. Well, it's got flowers on it. Of course you do. <laughs> Those are the... Oh, and then here is a Coach wallet. A little stain for a dollar. And then this is another Coach. Yeah, I thought that one was pretty for cool. For $3. I thought Donna would really like that one. For $3. Okay. And then I got these, all of them together for 50 cents. And what are they? These are like bags? They're bags. They're um, feel good bags. Never forget the difference you've made. I'm grateful for you. They're like pencil bags or makeup bags or little gifts. Okay. This I got for 50 cents. And I love this. It is a budgeting cash budgeting thing All right. got this for 75 cents a Tupperware and then I got these for five bucks they were less than 50 cents a piece and it's a 12 of these melamine um, Carlisle cafeteria lunch trays yes very nice okay do you remember what you think they sold for I think it was 18 for two and then like a set of four for 24 okay. something like that cool. i got these two barbie dolls i haven't looked them up or anything but they were 50 cents a piece so you couldn't go wrong this one has tattoos oh that's cool yeah this was at the last sale we went to now if you have been a tupperware consultant or been to parties or whatever you kind of know but these are the stackable cook microwave cook set. So I've got the cookbook. And these are new, haven't been used. She used them to show at sales. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces here. And here's a comp for that for $98.95. Wow. What so would you pay? I paid 20. Alright, cool. And then I just got two more plushes for the booth. We sold cents. two plushes in the booth yesterday. Yes. So, so I got a ten dollar one and, and a, a five dollar one. So these are fifty cents a piece. Okay. Then you got a plush for eBay. Um, this was the next to last one when we got back to the Highlands, and I got him for fifty cents, and he is forty five. He's a Thai dragon. Thai classic dragon. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what this is. That's for personal use. Oh. This is for personal use. Mary Kay. Four dollars for Mary Kay that usually is twenty-two dollars. Nice. So save you money, honey. Yes. I don't know how much this is, but this is what Steve picked out. Uh Donna actually picked it out and I said okay and I carried and paid for it. It's the 39 clues book set. She pointed it out to me and I'm like, okay, this looks good. I didn't look it up. It's worth probably about fifteen to twenty dollars. So I paid three, yeah. I think. I got another crystal purse. That's what it looks like, just like the yellow one we sold. Mm -hmm. it's, this one is green. And it has the box. Got this for a dollar. I love Mary Inglebright. It says everyone needs their own spot and it is a coin bank. 
Does it have a plug? It does have a plug. It has nice. the plug. And this is for my plants. Got it for 25 cents. Yeah, we got a lot of plant cups today. Starbucks. This is a Halloween Starbucks that Steve got. Yeah, it was two bucks. I figured since it was a Halloween theme, it's probably a good, good purchase. We got these for two. The sticker these? says three, but I said two and she said yes. Got these for two. You think, oh, they're just regular old tidy whities Well, if you look, you probably can't see it, but it's 1989. These are actually pretty old. And I looked it up and this is like 20 bucks here. So this I got for free. It is a Bible, the Warrior Bible, the Warrior's Bible. Cool. And then this is a planning system. I got all of this for $3 and then the markers for $3. But it is a planner. And I ha it has a magnetic close and it has three refills. And it has all the stickers yeah. and then all the markers so that was a pretty good deal for the whole thing for six it's a full focus planner system 25 cents for personal use for the business it's a notebook and Steve and I argued about these we did after not the argue fact about them he looked them up and he didn't buy them. I didn't know he looked them up. I looked them up and I bought them because I thought they were Pioneer Woman, but he says they're not. But they say Italy, so maybe neither one of us will be wrong. I, I don't know. know. It, don't, it don't matter now. <laughs> There's four. We'll do some of them. They're very cool. They were a dollar a piece, and so I thought they were a little expensive, but they'll be fine. You guys, and at this sale, the lady that was running the sale had just had a conversation with a vet and he had stopped in and gave, given her this little packet and it had um, a star that was cut out of a flag and it had a little poem about this used to fly over our home, it doesn't fly anymore, you know, because they retired it. But then it also had a coin in it that said, this is your reminder that thousands died for your freedom and one died for your soul. And she had read that and she started crying and so i was visiting with her about that but i loved the saying on on that so yeah, thank you cool. <laughs> okay um got this pot for 50 cents because we're going to do some propagating thanks to our friend corey who has been doing some and alicia did some it's another pot for free and these two pots for 50 cents and this is a pot for 50 cents <laughs> And here's a Buddha that we got for a dollar? I think so. I thought they had just opened and didn't have anything marked. So that'll probably be for the booth. We got... We got for the booth. Let's just show you the booth stuff real quick. A couple hats for the booth. Um, and then you just want to show the t-shirts over here? Okay. Just got some random t-shirts just throw in the booth. We only paid like 50 cents for this, a dollar for another one. I mean, we didn't pay much, so we put them in the booth. Generally, most just t-shirts we put in the booth for $8. This is a Dunder Mifflin, that's what she said, sweatshirt, so we'll probably put that in for like 14 or $16. And then there's, we've got a couple Husker shirts. This is a kind of a cool uh, Disneyland hoodie, zip up hoodie. It's a little dingy, but I mean, it's legit, like it's Disney brand or whatever, so. That'll go in the booth. But it was only two bucks, I think. Yeah. Mickey Mouse. I mean, we'll look up the comps on those. They might be eBay, but we can throw them in the booth easy. Another Husker shirt. I don't like looking at clothes anymore, but you know, we're, we're gonna fill that booth up good. Okay, that's for the booth. All right, that's for the booth. This is to replace mine outside that's broken. It's plates that have made a flower, they're silicone together, and then they just put them on the uh, rebar outside. So this came off of mine. So I got a new one. Got this for free because she dropped it and broke it when she put it in my bag. But I'm going to put a plant in it. Same with this. And this one I haven't looked up, but he's a Disney mug. Stitch. 
So he might get a plant or he might get sold. Yes. And then these I found, got them for a dollar each because they go with trinket boxes that I got two weekends ago. Exactly match them. Cool. Notice how all this stuff is girl stuff? It was a fun day for me, I'm driving Miss Daisy. Steve <laughs> found this for me. I did. It's crochet. It's yarn. How could we say no? It's a friends, friends crochet. It's like 20 bucks. Paid, I think, three for it? Three. Three, yeah. So it doesn't sell a lot, but, you know, it's it's just cool and fun. Okay, I have a soft spot for Godfather's Pizza, you guys. Um, Godfather's Pizza was started in Columbus, Nebraska, my hometown. And my grandmother worked there and cleaned it like when I was wee, a wee wee lad. Uh, I think I was born already, but she worked at Godfather's. So when we came here, we had this Godfather's Pizza. It's from 1985. And it's a, a, a placemat, and it's got trivia on one side. And on the other side, it's got the teams. Husker teams from 69 to 72, and it's laminated, and it was $3. They gave that to me for $2, and then, I'm not sure why I bought these, but... Turned it around. Coca-Cola, and these are the Godfather's Pizza pitchers, and it was $3 for the set. So I paid $5, well, it's this pitcher with lid, I almost put that on top of there. And then these are just Coca-Cola. They don't say Godfathers, but there's but two, the whoop, two of those. They match the design. So I paid $5 for this stuff and the placemat. I don't know if they were really worth it, like picking up, but I it was late in the day. I hadn't found much, and I was like, oh, Godfather's Pizza, and it was really old, so I thought, let's get that. So Got this for $0.50. Cents. It's a paper punch. Cool. Got this for a dollar. It is a cookie jar. That's cool. A booth, probably. I found him I for... told Donna to not go to this sale. They don't have nothing. And she went, and I stayed in the van, and... And this is a Gem Shore. Got it for $2, and it's a naughty and nice, and I'm going to list it for $39.99. Yeah. I'm not always very smart. I went back and picked this up for $4. It is new, not opened. Paradise Girl from... Uh, philosophy and it sells for $30 and I just picked this up because why sunflower sunflower and then here's my little plants that I got for today red yarrow um, this one is a hibiscus and this one is a um, prairie pussy toes it is a oh my goodness a weed? No. Oh. Pasta. These are zinnia seeds. We're going to plant those. Got this for 50 cents. These are bulbs for pink tulips. So I'm going to plant those. And then this is a jade. Got him for a dollar. Cool. When mom comes in a couple days, we are going to do some planting and some pots. I got this set and this set. Four dollars each. Um... These are Oneida, and I think those are too. I think they are, yeah. Yeah, so. We have friends that uh, they do pretty well with silverware, and so, and we've watched other people on YouTube do pretty well with silverware, so we're just kind of picking some up cheap to try them out. Donna has sold silverware in the past, but you know, for four bucks, it's worth the risk. But I think she looked them up. Yeah. I don't know if they sell fast, but I think she can get like 10 bucks a set Where's or something. Where's the other set? There might be another set that we <laughs> might have gotten. We don't we're sure. missing something. Oh well. Okay. All right. This is a pair of Born shoes. Born is a good brand to pick up if they're in good condition. And these are kind of cool, unique shoes. Paid, I think, two dollars for them. Two. I got these. They fit me. I like them. <laughs> yeah, those are personal use. Sketcher bots. Um, well, they're to sell when she's done with them. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And here we got a pair of Oakley boots. I didn't know Oakley made shoes, but they have Oakley boots. And they look new. I wish the tags were still on them. But they didn't get any use. And if these were new, they're like 100 bucks. Here's the... They're Light Assault 2. Oakley Light Assault 2. And they're like 100 to 150 brand new. And these are look, brand new, but they the don't have the bottom. tags. Yeah. So we paid $5 for them. But we should do pretty well on that. Okay, my turn to show my buys. We left at 7.30 in the morning. We got back at two o'clock, so it was six and a half hours. And this is my little pile right here. This is it. Um, 
First of all, I do want to say the most genius marketer in the country, I feel right now, is this guy right here, Snoop Dogg. Because I'm telling you, I went out in a Snoop Dogg shirt, and you know four elderly people complimented me on my shirt. Him going with Martha Stewart, <laughs> how brilliant. I, I'm, not, I'm serious, I mean like 75 plus year old people um, with canes. They're like, oh, I love your shirt. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And I'm like, he was literally a gangsta, like drug dealer, like that's hilarious. But anyway, here's my little pile. I'm gonna show you what I got in my six and a half hours of sourcing. I got the Godfather stuff, I got the Oakley boots. Um, I got this, it was an ergonomic keyboard. Right before we came home, I found it. I know these are usually good buys. They sell about 100% sell through rate and they are about 30 bucks. I paid $5 for it. So, got that. Uh, Donna grabbed this. It's probably about a $10 game. She was at a sale. I had already went to the van. It was a dollar, so she grabbed it. So that's about probably 10 bucks. And then we were at one sale with records. Um, Mom, I didn't find a single Herb Alpert today. Not one, which is really crazy. Uh, Heart, Greatest Hits Live. This is about 20, I looked this one up. It's about 20, 25 bucks. They're in good shape. And then we got the cars. Ooh, Heartbeat City. Heartbeat City, yeah, this Ooh. is a good one. This is probably a keeper. And then we also have Queen Jazz nice. album. So these are good albums. We paid $4. She gave me a dollar off each one. So like four, three, and four. four. So got those. Uh, we were at the last sale that I went to, we went to and they had a tape cassette thing and Donna brought over a Van Halen cassette. And I'm like, ooh, how much for the cassette? And he says, he says, well, give me a dollar and take them all. So we got Van Halen Diver down and the tape's really clean. And then I look, there's Kiss Alive 3 in here. So that's cool. But then the rest of it is not really stuff, but for a dollar to take them all, I took them all. And then we were looking at Donna brought this over to me. She found it. This is a brand new Bose replacement stereo for, it was like a 2003, I, I think. it was a 90 something Oldsmobile. No, the manufacturer date is 2000. Oh. So, um, but it's never been used. It's never been like, it's not VIN locked. It was in bubble locked. wrap. And... It was in bubble wrap and stuff, but it's brand new. He had it as a replacement. When Oldsmobile went out of business, he bought it just in in case his stereo broke because he was a big <laughs> Oldsmobile guy. Um, but he only had $2 on it, so I picked it up for $2. There's one listed and one sold, and they're listed and sold for $80. So, you know, that's probably a long tail item here, but it should sell for uh, 70 to $80 for that. I just figured since it said Bose, it's probably a good buy. Anyway. Well, that's why I brought it to you, because you said Bose. Yeah, anything Bose usually, except like old, old big speakers are usually awesome. Uh, and then he had this box, and these are box. Mad Magazines from like the 70s. 74 right there, July, or 76, July 76. And there's January 75, and I don't know, whatever else. He had Hot Rod September magazines. 74. And Mad Magazines. And so I was like, oh wow, Mad Magazine, how much for your Mad Magazines? And he's like, I don't know, I'm never gonna read them again. And I was looking at, and I says, well, tell me what you want for the whole box. And I was prepared to give him $5, debating on 10, and he's like, I don't know, a buck. So I got this whole box for $1. <laughs> and then my last purchase, but it was like really my first purchase. We were several sales in, I was getting kind of desperate to buy something because I, I struggled all day trying to find something. And I probably, probably paid up too much but they had two bundles two books and a bunch of loose i'll set them up here there's a bunch of loose and two books of pokemon cards and they wanted it was their kids's little kids's or something they wanted a quarter for a card i did all i did is i looked at a couple dates and they're 2016 and i don't know that much about them but I said, well, how much for all of it? Because I said, there's a lot of cards in there that are like energy cards and they're not worth anything. Like, I don't want to give you a quarter for each, but how much for all of it? And they said, what did they say? They said $50. And I'm like, I said, that's probably fair. I says, but I don't, you know, 
I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that. And I'm and they're I'm like, but thank you, you know, it was awesome. And then they were like, would you do 40? They're like, it'd be really cool just to get some money for them. They said we'd come down even more, except they're the kids is. And so I gave them forty dollars. Maybe I shouldn't have. There's some Chinese, Japanese something there. I don't know what it is. I'm not real familiar with Pokemon. I may have paid up too much, but I know that I can break these down and I can for sure get my money back on dollar auction. Pokemon cards are hot. So that's that's my big buy of the day. I have you a know, few more things. My risk. Your risk. Yep. Yeah. All right, Donna's got a few more things here that we're gonna show you and then we're gonna wrap it up. Compared to the last video, it's gonna be much shorter. Also got a set of six of these Libby glasses. She had them six for $3 and I said, well, what kind of brand are they? And she goes, I don't know. And I said, I don't have my phone with me. She says, well, I can look them up for you. She looked them up. She says, they're Libby, and it says they're $7 a piece. And I looked, and there was a sold comp for them. And so I said, I'll take them. So I got them for $3 for a set of six. That's funny. Um, looked this one up, $18 to $19 for nice. this little ornament, and it was $0.50. Cents. Got this for personal use. It was a dollar. It's hairspray. Cool. Um, got these three for 50 cents a piece and they are raffia wear and I huh raffia wear and so I found that these have been selling and so I'm going to list the three of them for $24.99 cool and then we got two of these for the booth for a dollar each Harley Davidson mugs yep yep and then I got a dollar a piece for Tupperware from, oops, from the same person. And then I got all of these. I make those coffee cozies and these are the buttons I put on them and the buttons are usually three to five dollars a package in the store. And so I got all of these for 25 cents a piece. And there's some teacher ones, there's some Halloween ones, there's some football, there's scarecrows, snowmen, flowers, all kind, but there's a lot of teacher ones. So I'm going to do that for um, fall, the school year. And then we got these signs, and if you know, you know. <laughs> I want to show you one other thing because I looked it up just like yesterday when I bought the hats last weekend, if you remember that. This hat right here, since it's sitting here, I'm gonna show you. This hat right here, um, like a few of these have sold and they sell, if they're in really good condition, they sell for like $350. This is a this is a early 90s Lakers hat. Now mine has issues. I will show you, first of all, right here where that thread is missing, that's where the tag I can't remember the brand that this was, but I, when you look up the hat, you find it. But the tag is gone from right there. It still has the NBA tag. It is dingy. Um, and then the other issue is the back strap. Let me undo this. The back strap is melted a little bit, and so the last one doesn't want to snap. So with those issues, I don't know what this is going to do. There is only one of these listed on eBay in good condition for $350 and that's the only one on. So I'm gonna probably put this on an auction, seven day auction, start at like 20 bucks. I paid 50 cents and we'll see what happens. I might get 20 bucks for it, I might get 150, I don't know, but that's gonna be on auction soon. That's pretty much it. Donick bought some clothes for personal use and some other clothes for the booth, but for the dollar auction. Clothes dollar auction. Clothes are not exciting, right? <laughs> right? And we understand you look around our garage, it's a mess, but you know what? This is the peak, height of garage sale peak season. sourcing time for us. It gets too hot later on yeah. and then they die they off got really hot out quickly. Today. So we gotta go. Yeah, when so we know it's we a, have a chance. It's a mess in here, but right now we gotta keep up with uh, the sourcing because now is the time to do it. Yep. But so tomorrow anyway, we may be going to a couple small towns, maybe. Yeah, we're gonna debate about it. There is a couple out of town citywide sales for small towns. So we're we're talking about it. We'll yeah. see. We'll see what these ten boxes hold tonight. I hope you enjoyed the <laughs> MRE video. If you didn't see us eat the MREs oh and you really have some time to absolutely kill then go back and watch our last video. I looked video, like a nutcase. Yeah, it was fun. It was. We had a really good time with that one. But 
Um, anyway, anything else? If you're else? still watching, you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Yes. For subscribing, and for ringing the bell. Yeah, if you're still watching now and you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Yes, we are trying to get to 2,000, so help us get there. Yep. Like and subscribe and share with your friends. Yeah, but thank you all for watching this one. We'll see what the future holds. We are Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We'll see you next time. Bye.